CUET PG, which is the Central University Entrance Exam for Postgraduate, beginning on March 11th, Monday, we have put together this list of three highlights from CUET this year, which are new and which might prove advantageous for students. So without further ado, let's get right to it. This is Seema Rajpal welcoming you to another episode of Straight Up by edX Life, and here are the three CUET highlights. CUET UG this year will be conducted in a hybrid mode. This means, along with the computer-based test mode, students will also give this exam in pen and paper mode, making it more inclusive. This year, we also are bringing some changes in CUET. NTA is planning to conduct it in hybrid mode so that uh, uh, we can use the schools and colleges as the test centers and the students do not have to travel longer distances. So this time we will ensure that there will be enough centers so that our students can easily attempt the CUET. Normalization of scores also might be done away with. Conducting the exam for a certain subject on a single day will eliminate the need for normalization of scores, the UGC chairman himself, M. Jagadish Kumar said. What does normalization mean? It means equating the percentiles across different sessions to account for differences in the difficulty levels of the question papers. The fee this year though has gone up both for CUET UG and CUET PG. The UGC chairman clarifies that the National Testing Agency conducts the CUET test on a no-loss, no-profit basis. Here's one bonus tip from the UGC chief himself. In an exclusive with edX Live, UGC chairman had this message to convey to students. Students should adopt a balanced approach when preparing for entrance tests. They must use effective preparation strategies, stress management techniques and a positive attitude. Students can then develop the capability to take entrance tests with high morale and resilience. Ultimately, this will improve their chances of success. So all the very best students, don't stress, all is well. That's all we have for you today. We will see you again next week. Stay tuned to edxlive.com for all education-related updates. Don't forget to mask up and stay safe.